Uh, some of your fans might actually already know the answers or think they know the answers. So surprise us, Virat. Uh, favorite holiday destination? Um, favorite holiday destination would be somewhere in Europe. Nobody owes you? Yeah, is somewhere in Europe. Yeah. But if I'm playing cricket and I, I want to have some downtime, I think Australia is a great place. But um, if I want to be on a holiday where no one recognizes us, then um, definitely somewhere in Europe or one of the Ar Arctic countries, Arctic countries, you know, where there's so much snow that have people... Have you been? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have yeah. been. And um, it's a wonderful experience. No one knows you at all. And just to be able to walk on the streets going unnoticed is a great feeling. You, like I introduced you as someone who's kind of transformed India's sporting culture is mainly because of what you eat. So what's your favorite cuisine? Now, um, Japanese. Earlier it was... For a couple of years, I think, though, you like the Japanese because it's most healthy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. For about three years now. Uh, I can eat Japanese food at any time of the day. I totally love the cuisine. I've developed a taste for it. But earlier it was Mughlai, butter chicken, and all that. But I'm far from it now. I tell you what, if rumors are to be believed, Virat Kohli has not touched carbs in six years. If rumors are to be believed. That's, that's <laughs> now that, not true. Why I want to ask you that is because for us, that's like comfort food, like cheat day food. So do you have comfort food? Do you have a cheat day? Do you give yourself that time? Cheat day for me would be um, some gluten-free... No, it has to have gluten, Virat, come on. No, it's see, not that's a cheat day without something fried and without something gluten. That's what I'm saying, you know, it's, it's, it's not only black or white, it's, it's um, you, you know, it's a mixture of everything. You, you have to understand that you can't live without carbs, you know. As a human being, you have to eat carbs. But what kind of carbs you eat is what is important. And that's what I keep a check on. So when I have people come and tell me, oh, you haven't eaten carbs in six years, and I tell them, you got to be joking, man. I would be on the hospital bed, you know. So I'm very smart about what I eat, and that's been the main factor for me. So indulging in, I would probably have a gluten-free dessert, which is, you know, made of natural sugar and all that stuff. So that once in a while I do, but uh, I, don't, I don't get those cravings anymore. And that's what I was going to ask. Do you have a craving where you've trained yourself so well, you don't have it? So when you have this off time, like, what's a habit of yours at home? The favorite thing that you like to do when you just have nothing else on your mind? Oh, I can sit um, and, and not move from one place for hours. You know, that's how lazy I can be. As much energy as I show on the field, but when I get time at home, I can just be a total vegetable and, you know, I can be very annoying because I don't move at all. And spending time with your dog, I'm guessing, with the dogs. Um, I'm, I'm living in Mumbai now, yeah. so... The, the, the pet is in uh, Gurgaon. Um, I haven't seen, seen him in a few days, so I don't have any dogs at home in, in Mumbai at the moment, but we'll think about it in the future. We, we both love dogs, and you know, but in, in Mumbai right now, we don't have any. Well, we're looking forward to that. Okay, so what's on your playlist right now? What's a current favorite song, or maybe a song that's just like stuck in your head? Current favorite song would be... Um, Say Something by Justin Timberlake. That's the latest favorite of mine on my playlist. And like a f current favorite movie or a book or something? Um, book, the last book I read was, I read Nadal's um, autobiography, which I think was really cool. Um, before that, I read Autobiography of a Yogi, which was an eye-opener in many ways. So yeah, those two have to be the, the, the recent favorite books. You know, what's become really popular these days is movies on sports people because they're so inspiring, their journeys are inspiring. So if there was to be a biopic made on you, who do you think should play you? Just a fantasy. I don't think there'll be a biopic made on me. I think it'll be just um, a real account of what my life has been like. Um, so I don't know, I mean, the many talented people out there. I mean, I'm still quite a few years from that. Quite a few so years. I don't I'm know, talking some, like 20 years in the future. Yeah, some new, new talented actor would come along and, you know, he might fit the role perfectly if uh, something like that happens. But that's far, far down the line. You know, I can't even think about that right now. And apart from cricket, obviously, this is the game that has given you everything. This is the game that has given the country everything. Do you have like a favorite sports person or a sportswoman apart from cricket that you really look up to these days? 
Yes, Roger Federer um, is my ultimate favorite, just because of the way you know that that belief shows when he plays, and it's so beautiful. He has he has a family now, he has his priorities set, and um, he takes time off the game without worrying about opinions and you know criticism of people, and then he comes in and wins Grand Slams at 36. So. He's defying all the logics, and that's something that I totally love. You know, I, I hate following the norm, and you know, he's someone that's breaking all those barriers on a daily basis. So I have huge respect for him. Before we move on to IPL, I just got to say, just going back to what happened in South Africa, so many personal milestones for you as well. You know, you carry that form forward. You're scoring centuries, nothing. You're picking up the Test mace yet again, and now back into the cricket. Looking forward to the IPL. Physically fit, mentally ready. Yeah, physically, I. I had a few niggles. I'm just getting over uh, those niggles. You know, it's the workload um, has started to uh, disagree with me a little bit. So I have to be very careful about how I go forward with uh, my body, my mind, and my cricket. So, uh, you know, times like these are very, very important going ahead. And I'm totally enjoying it. You know, I don't even um, have an inch of me um, missing out on anything because my body really needed this. Uh, although I'm keeping a track on the games, I watch the boys play, uh, you know, whenever the matches are on. And yesterday, again, it was a really good win for us. But um, look, I, I don't watch uh, matches right now and feel like I want to be on the field because I've started to listen to my body. And yeah, when I'm, when I'm done with this period, obviously, IPL, I'll be coming out fresh. I'll be mentally in a better, better place to want to be out there on the field because I've been on the road for a long, long time. You know, I've hardly missed any games. And yeah, look, you, you need to pay respect to your body as well at times. And as I said, this phase is very important. So if you had to give someone a Tissot watch, who is it going to be? And which watch would you give them? Well, it depends. Of, uh, again, Let's pick someone. Pick anyone. doesn't even have to be your teammate. Um, I would give Chahel a watch because he's always late. So. I'll give him a, any watch just to keep a check on it's time. It's going to be a little tricky to find a watch that doesn't fall off his wrist. Let's be a little honest about that. I know. It'll have to be a rubber band strap or something because all the other straps will be loose for him.